Midjourney 5.1 is now live and it's set as the default model according to their last announcement. So with version 5.1, it's actually more opinionated, which means it's easier to get shorter prompts, kind of like version 4, whereas version 5, you had to be more exact and a bit more descriptive and it was harder to get good looking images. But there is also a raw mode that you can use. So if you want to go back to that less opinionated model and be more detailed, similar to version 5.0, version you can actually do that as well. Now to use version 5.1, uh, if you want to be really certain, just not relying on the default, type in slash settings, and you'll see you have the option here, MJ version 5.1, or you can go straight to raw mode. So you can click that and use raw mode, turn that on, turn it off. Now the other thing you can do is if you're using a different version or you simply want to type it in, imagine your prompt, you can type in dash dash v5.1 or if you want to add the style you go dash dash style at the end raw and pop that in and you'll get your 5.1 with the raw style or you can just simply type in dash dash v5.1 to use 5.1 straight up so that's essentially how you can use mid journeys 5.1 if you need to go into settings to switch or type it in at the end of your prompt so what's the difference between 5.1 and 5? Well, there's a higher coherence, which means it'll actually sort of perform better according to what you're putting in there. It'll actually get images that are closer to what you're looking for. It has a higher accuracy to these text prompts. So that's a pretty cool uh, sort of step up. Also, there are fewer sort of borders and unwanted text artifacts. So you're gonna get less kind of weird bits and pieces floating around inside your images and uh, this improves sharpness. So things are a little less blurry, a little bit sharper, so you get better quality images. Now I tried version four and decided to put a prompt of a dog in there and I wanted to compare it to the newer versions because I want to see what the difference was since we had these less opinionated models. So this is a dog straight out of version four. When we go to version five, we get a picture of a dog which is amazing, but it's just, it is literally just a dog except for that bottom left one where it decided to get a little artistic, which I think is still a pretty cool image. When you go to 5.1, things are a little bit more artistic. You can see we've got stuff a little bit more of an artistic style on the bottom left, some cool patterns on the top left, and a painting bottom right, and then more of a straight up photo. And this is just me typing in dog with version 5.1. Now when I go to raw mode, we still get a photo of the dog in the bottom right. Uh, we get some weird sort of robotic dogs, but things are literally a bit more raw and kind of I would say a little bit harsh with this uh, raw mode. So I decided to go a step further and add more detail to the prompt so we can see what we get. Now I tried this one, a dog running through the city with a bone in its mouth, crowded streets with an overexposed sky and a photorealistic 35 mil DSLR sort of photograph. This is version four, things are a little bit fuzzy. Um, the face is a little bit messed up. It doesn't look too good. It, despite the fact that version four was actually a pretty good model. When I go to version five, we do get some, some good results actually. It, there's no bone in the dog's mouth, but it looks pretty photorealistic. And uh, it actually, some of these images are looking pretty good, great photos. Version 5.1 has added a little bit more interpretation. Still no bone in the mouth, but uh, you know, still some good looking images overall. And uh, you can see we've got a lot more uh, consistency across models when we get more descriptive. Now 5.1 raw mode, much the same again. Uh, the images are actually still a little bit different again. So by adding in more details into our prompt, things start to get more consistent regardless, but uh, it's good to know that you can get some minor differences by switching between models. Now I did try some abstract prompts since we're talking about trying out the opinionated and unopinionated models of mid journey with this new release. I did just do warmth and happiness to see what it would produce. And in version four, we get some cool artistic images. Uh, some of them are a little creepy, like the top right hand corner, but uh, overall you can see it has that, it's produced that feeling in an image. When we go to version 5.0, it's still produced that feeling uh, a little bit plainer in, a, in its sort of interpretation, but a couple of different art styles. And for some reason, it's actually put a cold image uh, I sort of think it's a bit funny, like they're trying to find warmth, but they're in a cold environment. When you switch to 5.1, this actually has a warmer look. Everything looks warmer. The feeling of the image is warmer. It's actually, that opinionated nature uh, is a bit better. I think it's, um, yeah, it looks pretty cool and, uh, and has interpreted that feeling a bit better. 
But when we switch to raw mode, it's a little bit all over the place. But that's cool because we can still experiment and see what kind of results we get. For some reason, this girl has fire coming out of her hands in the top left, so that's a bit different. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's still a pretty cool thing to play with, though, and uh, it's good to see we get such different sort of interpretations. But I wanted to test out some human faces because that's the one thing we know better than anything when it comes to eyesight is the faces of other people. Once again, we've got version 4 where what we get, we get some relatively photorealistic stuff. I've got a man and a woman's face, uh, but it still looks a little bit artistic. When we switch to 5.0, we get something that looks a little bit more realistic, much more sort of like a photo, but there's still something a little strange about some of the faces that I can't quite put my finger on, but it looks pretty good. 5.1, same thing again. I feel like there's uh, some more realistic wrinkles and stuff in some of these photos, like the bottom left. Uh, people looking a little bit more authentic, but still a little bit artificial. Raw mode, they actually kind of look more like people, but the photos are less artistic and creative. Top right looks like some really, really old school stock photos, uh, which I think looks okay, but isn't great. But, uh, you know, still for what you get, we're using a relatively straightforward prompt here. Uh, bottom right looks really good, the man and the woman. The bottom left looks really good with the aging. Uh, you get a bit of variety with raw mode, which I'm noticing, and I think that's pretty cool. Now, I wanted to try out a few different ideas to have some fun with it. So I did do, just for 5.1, the Terminator as a Pixar character, 3D render. I think this looks pretty cool and uh, is a good sort of test of its sort of artistic value. And then I wanted to try something different. A photograph of Shrek as a real life monster, but I wanted it to look real, shot with a DSLR. Now this is 5.1, so it has its little opinionated sort of style to it. And you get some, these images are pretty funny. But when I switch to raw, uh, it probably resembles more of what I said, but the bottom right is kind of like a toy. Um, these are a little bit more creepy. The top right is, uh, I think I'm gonna have a nightmare tonight thinking about that image. But uh, for a lot of, it's pretty fun. Um, and it's pretty cool what you can get when you're playing around with this mode, but uh, you can see where there's a difference. It definitely is a little bit more of a roll of the dice when using raw mode if you're not going to put in the really, really nail down those details in your prompt. Overall, check out version 5.1 and have a play. Try both the raw mode and just the normal 5.1. You will find that you get some really awesome imagery and there's obviously a bunch of things that you can try. I can't cover it all here. I've tried to cover a few of the main things just to give you an idea. But uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider giving it a like. Otherwise, I hope to see you again soon. Have a great day.